Moving ahead, let's check out all our vocals. So we discussed earlier all the sidechain processing and we discussed the aux masters. So up here you have our two different aux masters uh, for the two leads and one for the backgrounds. So let's pop up to a chorus and take a listen and I'm gonna loop that. And we'll solo these vocals and see what we have. Just to get to here, play music from the soul. Another long day set to disappear. So on the vocal channels, I didn't use that much, but I did use the JST Clipper to give a little oomph to one of them. And let's see what we have here. This one probably was a little bright, so I added some more of that. And this guy to push it ahead, which is pretty much the pattern if they need help. Then I do like a couple of bands on this Neve. So on some of these parts, which are a different singer, I'm using a third singer to double to help, you know, add some weight to things in the bridge. So um, she needed a different EQ setting than the others and I didn't want to set up a new aux for that so it's really simple just drop one in here and ride on these auxes so let's listen to the chorus again and then I'm gonna I'm gonna mute some things this will be the the chorus with all the plugins out on the submasters Just to get to here, play music from the soul. Now I'm going to drop in the Soothe plugin. Set to disappear. All right, just to get to here, play music from the soul. Another long day. Set to disappear. All right. Now the Phoenix. Just to get to here. Play music from the soul. So you heard that the smooth took out some of the harshness, but some of the low end thump was gone. So the, the Phoenix sort of helps make that up without affecting the high end. So now the Pro Q is a simple you know, just a tone helper. So now I'm going to play it without the 1176, and then I'm going to add the 1176. We are family now. It's been a long ride just to get to here. Now I'm going to drop it in. Play music from the soul. Another long day set to dip. So you can hear how that pushed it way in the front and started to make it sound like a record. Now I'm going to do the same thing with the Sound Toys EQ, and this will give it the sheen. We are family now. It's been a long ride just to get to here. In. Play music from the soul. Another long day set to dip. So by far, vocals have the most processing, but they have to get above and beyond everything else that's happening. And you're also kind of in this position where with instruments, you can use different sounds, you can use different guitars, different amps, a different keyboard, and find spots in the frequency range and the arrangement for it to work. But your singers are themselves, and you have to help them. So that's where all this comes in here. So here's our background vocals with our chorus leads. We are family now. It's been a long ride just to get to here. Play music from the soul. Another long day set to disappear. All right. Just so what we did from an arrangement standpoint 
that that some you know this is important too to your mixing approach because you could add things or you could mute things if somebody has too many things we had our, our third singer come in and since there was a two lead singers they were covering you know one the melody and the harmony the third singer came in and doubled the melody and doubled the harmony and then did a harmony a third part and tripled yes tripled all that so here's just the background singer Now, noticing that soloed, you're probably thinking you're crazy. It's super bright and thin. But when it was all in the mix of things, the lead singers double themselves and their fundamental tone was already there. It really needed some other harmonic element and some shine to it. So that's why those are EQ'd that way. So let's go back and add the leads again. Just to get to here, play music from the soul. Another long day set to disappear. All right. So there's all our vocals for the chorus. Let's check out the bridge. Light a fire. Let it Time is unknown, music's an ocean, and I'm falling in. Come, get swept away. Pretty straight ahead, three singers. Now at the end, we added a nice little more of a gospel -y thing. Check that out. So there's all our vocals. So that was Anatomy of a Mix Part 2, Let It Go by Cumberland Road. Hope you enjoyed this. We have many more coming. So please like, subscribe, hit the notification bell so we can let you know when there's more content. And if you have any comments, let us know. There'll be a link to this song, this uh, Reverb Nation page for this band. And eventually these songs are not released yet on Spotify and Apple Music, but they will be in the next month or two. So we'll keep you posted on that. Thanks, hope you enjoyed it.